Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at the Eldest launch and this is the first look at the 2025 Avant Caravan range. There are six caravans for us to look at so we are going to blast through these having a look at the exteriors and the interiors as we go and finding out what is new for 2025. Because it is a first look, I haven't got facts and figures in this video, but those will come when I do more individual reviews and we can get to know this range a little bit better. So let's make a start now. It's important to note that new for 2025, the whole Avant range has got the new front and the new rear. This is much more rounded in shape and it follows on from the Buccaneer range. So we're bringing Eldis all together as a brand with this new shape. So let's make a start at the front, first of all. This model is the five. 20. So if you're interested in the models, make a note as we go. So this one is a single axle caravan. It is on the Alco chassis and it does have ATC. The front, we've got the white front locker box, the Avant 520, and then the three windows and this rounded shape. Now Avant is the entry level for the Eldis caravan range uh, and prices well, I don't know where they're going to start this year, but previously they did start at around 25, 26,000 pounds. But as I say, for 2025, I don't know. So here we go, we can see the rounded shape. Now these do have the GRP sides and they have been remodified to prevent any water ingress and they do not have wood within the construction of the caravan. We can see our windows here as we come down. The decals, we've got this darker burgundy color into sort of ending up in almost like a pink there. We've got an aerial on the roof. There is an awning light coming down the side of the 520 and round to the rear. Now this is where we see some big changes. So we have got the eldest name badge. We've got the high brake light and then we've got the LED light cluster. When this first came out on Buccaneer, I was really excited to see it. And I must say this new back end is a massive, massive improvement. Going forward, this has really modernized the whole caravan. And then coming down on the offside, we can see that rounded shape there that's been introduced. Uh, we've got the black alloy wheel. I quite like that finish on it. And let's venture around and go and take a closer look at the 520 layout. So this one, this is, a, as far as I'm aware, a two berth model. We'll go in. It does not have a fixed bed. We make that up out of the um, lounge area. So the door is at the rear of the caravan on the 520. Then we come in and we've got this huge lounge. So this is going to be your lounge and your bedroom area. Now on the 520, you can use these as single beds or you can make it into a double bed. But we've got this light, nice light fabric this colour scheme here on the curtains and it's complemented by the cushions. You can use those whichever way around you want, but they are the same. So those are the fabrics. I'll just sit that back up. I'll put those back there for the next person. Um, I, des I describe that almost as peach. Don't know what colour you'd go for, but it's almost a peachy apricot colour. Cabinetry. So Eldis have gone a lighter colour scheme across all their caravans for 2025. We've then also got this nice trim here just to complement it. And then we move into the kitchen on the 520. Uh, that's on the off side. And what some of you may have noticed is on the walls, this is a new wall scheme. It's a one piece board. They have done away with the strip. This strip that many of you will be know exactly what I'm talking about. The join strip has gone. Eldis has listened to feedback. You can see here on the wall as well, now, to me, that is a massive, massive improvement because it was it was an issue for a lot of people. So it's great to see going forward, it has gone. So we've got these nice one piece walls on the 520. We've got a large space here for televisions and what have you. The Russell Hobbs, they're using the Thetford gas oven and grill appliance. And also on the Avante, although it's entry level, we've got an electric plate and gas as well. So there's no compromise there. These cabinets have all got this sort of finish to them. I'll just pop this one open. You can see some of the storage space. And then we've got the big Dometic tower fridge and freezer. And I'll let you dive into our washroom here at the back. So on the 520, there is a lot of room for getting changed in there. There's the Thetford toilet, the sink, plenty of cabinets and storage in there for clothing and a good sized shower as well. And that's in the rear near side corner. 
And you can see as well that curvature on the back wall as well and that's part of the new layout. That's your wardrobe space there that you can see and on that back wall that way is the curvature that I have just mentioned there. I don't know if you can see that, that's curved just to soften the interior up. Right, so that is a two berth single axle 520. Let's power on to our next one. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you around these. I'll just close the doors behind us. I'm not going to do the exterior of them all. Um, they're all very much the same. I'll do that on individual reviews. But the next layout is the 550. So we're going up now to the Avant 550. Let's go and take a look in here. So on this caravan, this is a fixed bed and it's a four berth model. So the 550, we've got the lounge seat. So we've got two se uh, separate lounge seats, not quite as long as the 520 because this one's incorporating the fixed bed, but you can use these as singles or as the double. This one has the whale airblown heating. So the Avanta range has whale airblown. Kitchen, again, we've got this good size kitchen space with flap. I like the black sink, that is really nice. So black sinks, microwaves are coming as standard. There's space in here for the table for the lounge area. This one has the undercounter Dometic, Thetford cooking appliance. And then as we move back, I like, I do like the use of space. We've got here, as well as a nice amount of floor space in, it then moves into this shower cubicle on the off side of the caravan. So there's our shower cubicle. And then the bed is the island bed at the rear. So the bed is up against the rear wall. It's currently retracted and you can see the amount of floor space around here. I don't know the sizes of the beds. Those will, that'll come when I do some more detailed reviews. Got the fabric headboard, that colour scheme there is matching what we saw in the lounge. Wardrobes, and again, if you can see in there, that curvature as well in that corner on that uh, roofing panel. No um, strips down the walls either, one piece wall boards. So yeah, and then I'll let you poke your head in there. The washroom as well, so you've got the toilet and sink in there. So a nice little washroom, space for your toiletries. Um, and separated from that shower cubicle. So that is the 550 layout. Right, come on, follow me. So there's the lounge as well. And say it is light and bright with this lighter sort of oatmeal carpets, the lighter wood and the nice furnishings there. Okay, onwards. Now we're going to move on to this one, which is the 554. So we've got these nice black alloys, these, this lovely shape. We'll just have another quick look around the back end of this one, just so you can again see that uh, new style on the back, because we've only just seen it the once. So again, the back there, the rear styling on the light cluster, and then we'll dive inside the 554. So follow me. Now this again, four berth, and close that up, a fixed bed. So on this one, slightly different layout. This has got the rear washroom because sometimes people prefer the rear washroom. It does make the caravan more open because it has got that open plan feel to it. We've got our, again, two bench seats here and then coming down a good amount of worktop space in these kitchens, uh, plenty of cupboard space. And as I say, this one has the side island bed. We have got a very good size wardrobe on this layout and that's complemented by drawers and what you get with this as well is a little pull out shelf for your cup of tea so that's always a bonus I'll close that up up just in the kitchen area as well there's an extractor fan a huge sunroof now the bed is pulled out so the room here you can get round it as you've just seen me do so this is nighttime mode daytime mode you'll just pull that back and gives you more room around the bed. We've got our furnishings. Uh, these little cushions are nice. I presume these come with it, whether these are part of an options pack, I'm not sure, but these are nice. And you also get this sort of runner here as well on the bed, complements the headboard. Wardrobe space, a mirror, and it's got this um, sort of wood trim that you can see here as well. This is around the caravan. So a nice little wood trim. And then back here, I'll let you dive in and have a look at the washroom. So. We've got our Thetford swivel toilet, 
There is then a sink with um, storage. There's some cabinets, the mirror. And in that near side corner, we're also getting the shower cubicle. So not a bad size shower cubicle. And this bathroom does have the sliding door, which um, that's sometimes a compromise if you're a bigger person. If you're not, it doesn't matter, but um, that's one thing to consider with this layout and with this caravan uh, not being um, as wide as say the eight foot, just a bit of compromise there. Right, let's power on. I'll climb out myself. Right, let's head on to our next model. There we go, I'll close the doors we go. So the next one is the 840. Now we're going up to the twin axle next. So let's have a look at the twin. So 840, we can see we've got the twin black alloys here and let's have a look at the layout. So this is a family caravan. I'll just close that there. So this is a family layout. Now in this one, you're certainly getting with the length much more size as you can see in here now if you just pan down as well before we make our way you can see how open this does feel so if you are a family of four to six people there's plenty of space even on a really bad weather day now the lounge these are a really good length when i get my facts and figures it'd be interesting to see the full size of these these are really long so a great sofa and lounge area so this is two of your four berths on this layout so that you can use as a singles or a double you're getting the front chest again and we've got a television point down there so you can put your your family television there the cabinets that continue down and then they go into this dinette area this is again huge so this will convert into a bed as well and the family can sit around here there's another table that you can also put in the lounge area that will be stored in there so you've got two areas for sitting and relaxing and then we've got a massive kitchen so plenty of space we've got the flap there's the drawers uh, and little storage compartments within the kitchen and then if I just move back so Coming back, we've got a little sunroof just above here. We move back, you can see the rail that runs around. So when this is being used as a bedroom space, you've got the privacy, we've got the Dometic tower fridge and freezer, the microwave, and then storage for the family's clothes. Some little drawers there. What I'll do is I'll just open this one first let's have a look at the washroom before we move on to the rear bed so in the offside corner of the caravan we've got space here for the shower the toilet and then the sink and there is uh, there is some cabinet space in there for the toiletries for the family and this one all of them have got the whale air blown heating and then last but not least we find the bed so we've got the rear french or fixed bed there in the corner that's on the near side of the caravan there's um, cabinets around there as well for more storage, good size window, and there is a television bracket just situated on that wall there so you can watch telly in bed. And there is a little bit of storage under that bed. So nice family layout, open plan. It feeds nicely from there through into this main habitation area, light and bright, plenty of big sunroofs as well to let to the air and the light in, right? onwards let me dive out last but not least we have the 860 i'll close that right oh sorry we've got two more so we've got the 860 next and then last but not least we'll have the next one so 860 again twin axle we've got the white side the grp you can see our decals let's go discover this layout so venturing in now this is a close up this is a four berth model so for birth, again, we've got this really nice, good size lounge, long, long sofas. And the reason I go on about this is when you're relaxing, it is nice to be actually able to properly lay out as well. Plenty of floor space as well. So you can see the floor space through there and then feeding through here, a lot of room. Um, this is important if you have pets as well, but plenty of floor space here. And then we've got this huge storage cupboard under that nice black sink so storage compartment and what i like to see as well on the uh, avant entry level is we're getting two plug sockets so two plug sockets in the kitchen 
we've got our Thetford appliance, the Dometic, Russell Hobbs. There's a little space here for uh, bottle storage as well. So somewhere to put bottles. And this is where your table's going to be stored. So there's storage for the lounge table. And then moving back on this model, we've got a good size shower cubicle on the near side. So really good size there. Then we've got the rear bedroom. So the island bed is a transverse bed on the near side wall. It's currently retracted. Is it currently retracted? I think it's currently pulled. No, it's currently pulled out. So that's really good, actually. So it is, it's pulled out um, and you can see the amount of space around here. And that is the benefit of such a large caravan. The wall, the roof here, the bend that I mentioned, this curvature, just softening it up. This is a whole new shape for 2025. And the strips have gone. So there we go. That is the bedroom space. What we'll do as we go around is poke our heads into the washroom. The washroom is on the off side. So let's go in there as we go. So washroom space, we've got the Thetford toilet. We've got that fruit bowl sink. And because there's no cabinet over that, you're not getting intrusion, which is important to me personally. So yeah, nice. They are fairly plain white walls, but this is their entry level um, caravan. So if you want a little bit more pizzazz, you've got to go up a few, uh, a few more rungs. Right, let's dive out. So there we go. So that was a four berth island bed, transverse island bed model. I'll just close this up. So there's the 860. And now, last but not least, I got ahead of myself. Last but not least, here we go, the 868. So again, a twin axle model, large layout. Let's go inside and take a look. Now coming in here, I'll just pop that across. This is a family layout. So there are a few family layouts uh, on this range. And my family layout, I mean, it's got more than four berths. And that's because it's an entry level and that's the market that generally are looking for these. So again, this could be one for you. We've got the two long bench seats here in our lounge area. Plenty of great floor space as well. At the front here, there's the television point. So you'd then feed your television here for the family. Moving into the kitchen, plenty of worktop space, the additional flap, the storage. Feels really spacious and roomy in here. Plenty of headroom as well. Not just for me, even for Jules, there's plenty of headroom in here. We've got our Dometic tower fridge and freezer. Wardrobe here on the near side. So this model is going to provide six berths. So a six berth caravan for the family. Two berths at the front. Then we're moving back here now. We've got the shower on the near side. So large, that large shower cubicle. And then we'll do the bedrooms first and we'll do the washroom on the way back. So as we move through, we've got the bunk bed here on the near side. Again, not, not massively wide, but not a bad length and more than suitable for a child. And down below, there's a little ladder to climb up as well. And down below, we've got another bunk bed. So you can see under there for, again, the second child. And then over on the off side, there is a fixed bed or French bed. That's got the uh, apricotty peachy coloured headboard again. These little cushions. We've got some storage lockers that run round. And again, you can see that curvature there in that cupboard, just softening it up. If you want to watch television in the bedroom as a family, there is a television point here on that uh, offside wall. And in this one, we've got a massive wardrobe space. So two rails and you can also put bits and pieces below. And there is some storage under the bed. And last but not least, we'll just have a look in this washroom. So I'll just open that door for you. And there we go. So that's the family washroom. You've got your toilet in there, the sink, storage for uh, toiletries and what have you. There we go. And then just looking back into the bedroom. So two berths, two berths. And then we move through the caravan into this large, nice open plan, huge lounge area. And there we go. Right, let's carefully dive out. I'll close the, uh, the door. So that is the 868. That's the other family layout. So that is the Eldis Avant 2025 caravan range. Six altogether, 
a mixture of twin axle and single axle all have fixed beds apart from the 520 which is the one we started at I will put a link in the description below hopefully by then there will be facts and figures available on the Eldis website so you can have a look at all the models and you can also look at the various option packs for if you wanted to add options to them hopefully you've enjoyed having a first look my plan is to get out to dealerships and do more detailed reviews of each of the caravans to tell you a little bit more about them so as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one